Good morning, friends. Welcome to Monday of Holy Week. Holy Week this year with Gretchen and Pastor Adam. We're going to spend some time with you each morning here in devotion on this week most holy as we journey with Jesus, as we follow in prayer and devotion the story of the Passion. So this morning, we're invited to uh, connect with Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, the 42nd chapter, uh, verses 1 through 9. So if you have it there, I'll invite you to read along with us in devotion, or simply close your eyes and, and receive God's Word. Let it wash over you and see what connects and what uh, makes meaning this year uh, as we begin our journey here through Holy Week. Here is my servant whom I uphold my chosen, in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations. He will not cry or lift up his voice or make it heard in the street. A bruised reed he will not break, and a dimly burning wick he will not quench. He will faithfully bring forth justice. He will not grow faint or be crushed until he has established justice in the earth and the coastlands wait for his teaching. Thus says God, the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread out the, the earth and what comes from it, who gives breath to the people upon it and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord. I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the prisoners from the dungeons, from the prisoners those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name. My glory I give to no other, nor my praise to idols. See, the former things have come to pass, and new things I now declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. My friend Gretchen has joined us here for these uh, early days of Holy Week to uh, read along with us this, uh, our, our devotion from Christ in our home. In today's reading, we hear first of all how God chose the people of Israel to be light for the nations. My servant, God declared, my chosen, in whom my soul delights, and then I have put my spirit upon them. As Christians, we find a double layer of meaning here as the words about Israel also anticipate God's choosing of Jesus. He will not shout and condemn our or extinguish any dim hopes. Rather, he will bring forth justice. God declared that the Chosen One, this light, would give sight to the blind, set captives free, and proclaim good news. To this day, God promises and remembers covenants made, saying, I have called you in righteousness and kept you. God does new things in new ways for new times, but God's overarching pattern of love, promise keeping, and goodness repeats across time. For the God who chose and fulfilled promises to Israel, the God who gave us Jesus now chooses and calls you now chooses and calls you. Uh, words to contemplate, uh, to guide and lead our prayer on this Monday of Holy Week, Old Patterns, New Forms. I'll invite you to pray with us using these words from Christ in our home. Thank you, God of all, for calling us to be your own. Make us a light to the world. Amen. Gretchen, who should we be invited to pray for today? Christians in Latin America primarily, and they have a lot of struggles going on there right now. So let's keep them in our minds and in our hearts and prayers. God bless you on this Monday of Holy Week, and we'll see you tomorrow, dear friends.